Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about muscular system, anatomy and physiology. Uh, for your kind information, this PPT is made exclusively for the candidates, those who are preparing for their interview. So if you go through these points and um, what to say, practice well, it will be easy for you to explain about muscular system during the interview. So when they are asking, you should start with definition. The muscular system is what makes our body move. It works with our bone skeletal system to help us to walk, run, lift things and even smile. Muscles also help with posture and heat production to keep our body warm. So we should start with the definition. Then we have to move to the type of muscles. So type of muscles. First one is skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle is otherwise called as voluntary muscle. It is located. First we have to talk about the location. That is it is attached to the bones across the joints. And we can control these muscles consciously. When we are talking about the structure of skeletal muscle. It is a long cylindrical fiber with multiple nuclei. Striated appearance. And uh, functions of skeletal muscle is it enable us to walk, run, lift and do all physical activities, support a body structure and stability, generate heat during muscle contraction to maintain body temperature. Examples are biceps that is helps in bending the elbow, quadriceps assist in extending the knee, deltoid allows arm rotation and lifting. So that's all about skeletal muscle. Second one is cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscle is otherwise called as heart muscle. It is found in the walls of the heart and it works automatically without conscious effort. When coming to the structure, it is striated like skeletal muscle but has a unique branching structure and it contains intercalated disc that help synchronize heartbeats. And when coming to the function, it contracts rhythmically to pump blood throughout the body and the nerve fibers um, beating uh, helps to maintain the heartbeat continuously throughout the life. Special features, it has its own electrical impulse called pacemaker cell that regulates the heartbeat. Extremely fatigue resistant, it never stops. And the third muscle is smooth muscle. Smooth muscle is otherwise called as visceral muscle. It is found in the wall of internal organs like stomach, intestine, blood vessels and bladder. The main thing is it is not working under conscious control. So it is involuntary. When coming to the structure, it is non-striated and spindle shaped fibers, single central nuclei per cell. Coming to the function, it helps food uh, to move through the digestive system. Peristalsis movement is happening. Control blood vessels, diameter and regulates, regulates airflow in the lungs. It contracts and relaxes to adjust the blood vessel size. Examples are, it is seen in the stomach. Help churn food for digestion, intestine, move food along the digestive tract. Blood vessel regulate blood flow and pressure. Then you have to talk about like how this muscle is working. So basic muscle movements include muscles work by contraction that is shortening and relaxation lengthening. They are attached to the bones through the tendons. When muscles contract, they pull the bones creating movement. Muscles cannot push, they only pull. This is why they work in pairs. Muscle pairs. Muscle pairs, when talking about muscle pairs, it is antagonistic muscles. Muscles works in opposite pairs called as antagonistic pair. One muscle contract while the other relaxes. For example, if you take biceps, it contracts to bend the elbow. Triceps, it contracts to straighten the elbow. Then the sliding filament theory that is mechanism of contraction. Muscle fibers contain myofibrils which are made up of sarcomeres, the basic unit of the muscle. Sarcomeres contain two types of protein. One is actin and second one is myosin. Actin is called as thin filament whereas myosin is called as thick filament. So how the contraction process is happening? A nerve impulse triggers the release of calcium into the muscle. So important part of a muscle are muscles are complex structure made up of different layer and specialized parts that work together to create movement. Muscle fibers that is muscle cell the basic unit of a muscle is known as myocyte. It is long cylindrical and multinucleated contains myofibrils that enables contraction. 
Myofibrils are thread like structures found inside the muscle fibers made up of repeating unit called sarcomeres. Sarcomeres are the functional unit of muscle contraction. Sarcomeres it is the smallest functional unit as a muscle fiber contains actin and myosin responsible for the striated appearance of skeletal muscle. During contraction myosin pulls an actin shortening the sarcomere. Major muscle groups are in arms we can see biceps and triceps, in legs we can see quadriceps and hamstring scarps, in the core part abs, abdominals and obliques, at the back we can see latissimus dorsi and trapezius. If you are explaining this it will be good okay so don't forget to add up this point when you are uh, talking about your muscular system. And facts about muscle, the tongue is the strongest muscle relative to its size. It takes 17 muscles to smile and 43 muscles to frown. The largest muscle is the gluteus maximus which is seen in the buttocks. Muscle makes 40% of our body weight. So that's all about um, muscular system. Thank you so much for watching. You can write and keep these points so that it will be really helpful for you uh, to talk about that system during your interview. Uh, I have not elaborated it like comprised mode like uh, what is needed it is given. So you can study this and if you need, want to add some points you can add. And thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your time. If you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and if you find it useful share it with your friends. Thank you.